Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome to Closet Talk. Today, folks, um, I was thinking, at least for episode one, technically, um, I'm going to review and give my expected rating for the upcoming summer 2023 anime lineup. So, on this list, I'm just going to talk about the, uh, what is it, the animes I'm going to see, not the ones, all of them coming out, because that's, that's too much, and that's, I'm not that much of a weeb. <clears throat> Alright, <sighs> let's get this list started. Oh, we have a whiteboard. Alright, I pulled up Mal, so what you're going to see is a list from just like the first thing on Mal. All right, so number one, JJK season two. Um, season one, phenomenal. I just have to say, like, it is just, it is one of those good shonen jumps. You know, it's been a while since we've seen something solid. And I heard that this is, or like, judging from the trailer, this is definitely like a backstory on Gojo. So that'll be fun to learn about. I haven't read the manga and I've managed to avoid every spoiler. I don't know how, but uh, I got friends that read it. And they are saying how much crazy shit's about to go down, but no, I don't know. So my expectation, I'm honestly, I got high ones, you know? So for the JJK, 8 out of 10. <laughs> Number two, Mushoko Tensai, season two. Oh, season two. There we go, season two. Um, Season one was phenomenal. Like, I just, that's definitely like, one of the best isekais i have ever seen in my life and like just the world building the characters honestly you thought you would you like you're supposed to hate rudius i swear to god because oh my god like but it makes sense though like because like everything makes sense that's what i just want to say anyways jobless baby season two coming out super high expectations saw the pv and i was like dude that's hype and, like, you just get more of the story. But, honestly, I think watching it weekly is the bad move. So, I'll probably have it run all the way through and then binge watch it all. But, expectation, honestly, 9 out of 10. Number three, Bleach. Bleach is back, baby! Um, oh my god, where do I even begin with this? Uh, Thousand Year Blood War, part one, fucking amazing. Shout out to Yamamoto, Art rest in peace. Oh, spoiler. Um... But yeah, no, where it's left off and judging by the trailer, we're going to see so much hype shit in the manga that I was very looking forward to. So honestly, like we're staying strong. This is probably like a 9 out of 10 as well. Four, Horror Mia. Um, I'm going to be honest. I didn't really get it. Like I saw the appeal, but like just all the characters, too many and like little information about them. And, like, even Hori, Hori-san and, like, Miyamura, like, they're just both, like, the main characters. But there's a lot of times where I don't feel like they are the main characters. But, um, no, the, this is just going to be extra stuff. So, I keep it basic. Six out of ten. Oh, my God. All right, so number five, I was going to write uh, Rent-A-Girlfriend, the new season. But, honestly, I, I didn't even finish season two. Because I know what happens in the manga. I've read it to a certain point and then just dropped it because I got too tired of waiting. So instead, number five is ZOM 100. Oh my god. Yeah. So the trailer looked fucking amazing. Um, I remember when this uh, manga started serializing, uh, literally the day. It was my senior year in class. But uh, have I read it? No. But it sounds fun. Like... Visually, it's, it seems like such a joy. I feel like this will be more of like a, not like less action-based, more just like psychology, just like understanding the meaning of life in a way. But hopefully that's the approach it takes instead of some sort of fucking, oh, Walking Dead, cultist crap. So my expectation, probably 8 out of 10. Number six, glasses. Or, what's it called? What is it? Skinako no Megane wa Wasudeta. Which means the girl I like forgot her glasses. Anyways, um, this is definitely just one of those shitty fucking uh, turn your brain off, haha, like cute little couple being made right now. But honestly, looking at the trailer, 
it seems kind of more than that. Like the animation is beyond the necessary appeal for what this type of anime is supposed to get. So honestly, like after like my initial expectation when I heard this anime was announced, I was just all like, okay. But now the trailer made me like, okay. <laughs> so keep it real, seven out of ten. Number seven, Shinigami Bochung. Um, I just drew a glove and tits because on if you if you watch season one, you you would get it. Oh yeah, season two. Um, so what is it? Season one left off normal. I did not expect the season two to ever come, but here we are. So guess I'm watching it. Um, expectation. I I got nothing else to say. Just like. Bro can't touch things, but bro is down bad and wants to touch some tits. And I feel him. I mean, like... But yeah, uh, expectations. Eh. 5 out of 10. Okay, this one's real special. Number 8, Lunori Kenshin. So, this was like the most like fucking out of the park, like alien species coming down to earth like moment for me in anime because i was so blown away that Donone kenshin is coming back with a remaster i'm like what the heck this has to be a coincidence because literally a year ago i reread all the Donone kenshin and then like a couple months later the trip like announcement comes out and i'm all like what the fuck like so yeah this is gonna be great like, the trailer looks great. I'm like, all I'm... Like, I never even asked for this. Because the anime was already there. And, like, yeah, it just had, like, old graphics. But, like, now they're just, like, amping it up. They're completely remastering it. So, honestly, I'm hyped for the fuck. This might honestly be a 10 out of 10. Okay. These eight are probably the anime that I'm generally just looking forward to watch. Because, like, within there, like... No, no, that's a lie. This is just, there's a lot of anime, but I don't want to put it on the board. This is the first, but these are the eight I am most looking forward to. Because, yes, Bochama was, like, pretty perverted. But it was still pretty good. I mean, like, come on. <laughs> um, but, like, let me just read off some of the stuff that I may look at or just really want to shit about. So, first off, we have... The fucking vending machine. Um, I don't understand why this anime exists. Um, that's why I don't watch isekais. Anyways, the other thing. Spy Classroom Season 2. I don't even, I didn't finish Season 1. I started the anime, watched like the first four episodes, and I was like, okay, yeah, I, I don't like this. Uh, ooh, Baki. Um, would put it on the list, kind of got lazy, um, but like, hey, we got Pickle. Alright, that's all for summer 2023. Um, this is the 8 I am looking forward to. Uh, there's extra 9 and 10 probably somewhere within there, just like whatever show I just happen to be watching. But anyways, uh, this is what I... This will be my expectation. I'll probably end up making a video at the end of summer just explaining my, like, final conclusion and thoughts on these animes. Anyways, uh, it's been Yuji. Thanks for watching.